Hi guys, today I will guide you with few core strengthening asanas which will help you lose your abdominal fats which will strengthen your legs and also your back. So let's start by lying down flat on our back and making ourselves comfortable. Slowly as you exhale, raise your right leg and hold it in 45 degree. You can either flex your toes or point it and slowly raise it to 60 degree and hold it there and now to 90 degrees. You can either bend your knee if you cannot make it straight but try to keep it straight as much as you can. You can either point your toes or flex it and hold it for a few breaths and slowly as you bring it down try to hold it again in 60 degrees back to 45 degrees and to the floor. Let's do it for the other leg. Slowly raise it to 45 degrees, hold it for a few seconds now raise it to 60 degrees hold it for a few seconds and to 90 degrees try to keep your knees straight and hold it here for three to five breaths you can either bend your knee or make it straight you can flex your toes or point your toes it's up to you and your comfortableness slowly bring it down to 60 degrees 45 degrees and slowly release it on the ground repeat this for 10 to 12 times for three rounds for better results now let's do it for both of our legs slowly as you exhale raise it to 45 degrees hold it for a few seconds minimum three breaths and slowly raise it to 60 degrees hold it there for three to five breaths and again to 90 degrees as you are up here you can either bend your knee or make it straight you can point your toes or flex your toes as you wish and hold the posture for minimum three to five breaths and slowly as you exhale bring it to 60 degrees hold it again and release it to 45 degrees hold it again and finally release it to the ground Oof, i can feel it already <laughs> if you have back pain you can also place your palm under your butt and raise your legs together as you exhale to 35 to 45 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees you can either flex your toes or point your toes you can either keep your knees straight or you can also bend it if you are not comfortable and slowly and steadily bring your legs down make sure your movements are controlled and you are aware of your breath at the same time slowly take out your palms and rest in savasana so even this one you can repeat it for 10 to 12 times for three rounds so now let's turn over for cobra pose place your palms beside your chest make sure your elbows are not facing outside rather tuck it inside and lift your chest up as you inhale and as you exhale release your chest and your head on the ground now with the help of your palms raise yourself up as you inhale and lift your upper body up until your navel and feel the stretch in your upper abdomen make sure you do not hold your breath keep breathing make sure you hold it for three to five long breaths and as you exhale you bring it down again as you inhale extend your upper body with the help of your palm this time you put the pressure all on the floor make sure your elbows are tucked in and stretch your upper body up until your hip level and feel the stretch in entire abdominal area and as you exhale you release it and rest in crocodile pose this is the most simplest asana makar asana you can either let your legs be the way they were or you can also try to kick your butt alternatively this is also modified version of crocodile pose which is considered as relaxing or resting pose listen to your body and let it rest but don't let it cool down so let's prepare ourselves for another asana which is locust pose this is half locust pose extend your right arm and left leg make sure your legs and your arms are floating off the ground 
thighs should be off the ground and chest also off the ground. Release. Repeat this for a few rounds. This will help you strengthen your core, back, your arms and also your legs. This is considered as the preparatory step for actual pose which is full locust pose and this is how it looks. Extend your arms and your legs and as you inhale lift it at the same time and as you exhale you release it on the floor. You can also make a fist and place it under your thighs for the support and do the complete posture which is the locust or salavasana slowly as you inhale lift your leg as high as you can at the same time you lift your head and try to hold this pose for five breaths and slowly release take out your fist and repeat this for three rounds minimum and rest in makarasana don't try to force yourself too much because it might be too harsh on your back and it might be painful so make sure you listen to your body and do not end up injuring yourself now prepare yourself for reversed boat pose make sure you join your palms and legs together and as you inhale extend your arms and legs Make sure your thighs are off the ground and your chest is also off the ground and balance it only in your abdomen but listen to your body and try to extend as much as you can and after you hold it for 3 to 5 breaths release in Makar Asana, Crocodile Pose, the Resting Pose and slowly Prepare yourself for the last pose that is Dhanur Asana, the bow pose. For this, bend your knees and try to reach out to your ankles. Hold at the bottom of your shin bone and as you inhale, slowly arc your back and lift your shoulders, chest and thighs off the floor. Gaze straight as you hold the pose. Try to keep your back and stomach muscles soft and relaxed but engage your thighs and shoulders. It is challenging but this is very effective asanas for your shoulders, back, glutes, your legs and also your stomach. So release your body and rest in Makar Asana. You can kick all the tension and stress of your body out and relax. Feel the vibration all over your body and make yourself comfortable in any possible asanas. You can gently push yourself back to child's pose. This is the best relaxing pose for me and I just love to do it at the end of my yoga asanas. Let's lengthen our spine a little more. Make sure our glutes touches our heels. Extend your arms. Feel the stretch on your shoulders and forehead on the ground. Try to touch the floor by your chest and feel the stretch on your arms, shoulders, your spine. Wow, this just feels so amazing. Almost towards the end, let's rock and roll for some time. This is the best way to massage your spine for all those forward folds and backward bends. Just rock it side by side, front and back, massage your spine, your muscles and then relax. In Savasana, this is the very easiest yet the most important pose at the end of our all practices you can also keep yourself in bound angle pose in this way and just feel the vibration all over the body feel the blood flowing 
feel the muscles that you have just worked on feel how it's moving you can just feel all the sensation while you are resting in savasana just extend your arms rotate your wrist and feel relaxed before you get out of savasana this is the best way to work on your core strength it will also help you strengthen your legs your back your shoulders you feel all the fats that covers your abdomen area melting away and you'll just love it try it out for minimum 21 days and please let me know the results if you like this video please do like it comment share and subscribe for more of similar videos and comment down if this helped you achieve your goal thanks for watching